Hello, so today I have a few products that I'm going to review for you guys that I've been using for a little while, maybe like a month or now on my 4C hair. So let's get started. So the first product I have is this, and this is called Nature's Lab Coconut Oil Organic Extra Virgin Oil. It is 100% pure and organic. And so there's an online store called pureformulas.com and they sell a lot of, um, it's basically like a drugstore. So they sell a lot of oils, they sell a lot of, you know, pills and makeup and everything that, you know, you usually find at a drugstore. And so I've used this and it costs about $7, around $7.70 at a 15% off coupon. So for seven bucks, it was really cheap because compared to a lot of other YouTubers, they pay their coconut oil for like 15 bucks. So I got this for roughly, you know, half the price. Um, it is pretty, it was pretty solid when I bought it, but, um, when it goes under a, um, whoops. Yeah. When it goes under like around 75 degrees, it'll start to turn into a liquid and it smells just like coconut oil. So it smells really good. Um, it has worked pretty well on my hair. Um, I only use it to seal my ends. And what I do is I put it in this applicator bottle that I bought at Sally's and I fill it up with a whole bunch of oils, coconut oil, you know, avocado oil, and then some water. And then I use it on my hair and it seems to do, um, really help my hair. It make my ends feel stronger. They don't break off. And so I really like this. So the second product I have is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. And I don't really use this as a leave-in. I mostly use this as a refresher spray to refresh my hair. Um, you know, for example, if I do a braid out or a twist out, I'll use this to like refresh my hair. And what I like about this is that it seems to prevent frizz for me like I spray it on my hair and sometimes I use heat afterwards and I don't get any frizz afterwards so it provides very good hold I would say um the ingredients for this are water coconut oil shea butter um neem oil those are the first four or five ingredients and it, they, it works pretty well. I bought this for about $7 at Target. I had a $2 off coupon. So, and what I do, and it works very well. It's when you spray it, it comes out very, very fast. So like this, very, very fast. And it keeps my hair very moisturized. If I just want to refresh my curls, I put maybe like four or five, four to five sprays on my head and I'm good to go. So I really like this. The next product I have is the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. And I really like this because I use this for the summer and it contains glycerin. So to give you guys a couple of the ingredients, it contains water, glycerin, um, propendiol, I think that's propylene glycol, um, cedar oil alcohol, and then it contains a lot of good oils when you go down the list. So <clears throat> if you have 4C hair like me, it's not really going to make your curls as pop. It's not going to make your curls pop as much, but it's really good for the summer if you have low porosity hair and you want to get moisture into you, to your hair because I would put this on my hair um, before doing a braid out or a twist out. And then, you know, I go outside and, you know, maybe like an hour later, my hair feels moisturized when I touch it. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel brittle. So I like this um, very much. <clears throat> One con I would probably say about this is that it can get a little bit oily if you use too much. 
So be careful um, when you use this. Um, a little does go a long way, so you don't need a whole lot. So those are the three products that I use. The coconut oil by Nature's Lab. Um, I'm not sure if they are still having the 15% off coupon, but they do that. Um, they do have that from time to time, so be sure to check out their website. Um, the coconut and hibiscus hold and shine mist and the curl activator cream. Something I like to point out is that I also use this as a moisturizer and it works very well for my hair. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll catch up with you guys next time.